follow you guys. I heard you put a real dent in the Exorcist's strength. I take it you're a Bloodwing? Got any new information for us? With all the turmoil, there's a lot of noise out there. But I've heard one rumor that stands out. So there was this skilled Exorcist Praetor at the top of his game, yeah? Apparently, he got taken down by a Pinyon. Oh? And how'd this Pinyon supposedly pull that off? I know it sounds like I'm pulling your leg, but I'm serious! The Praetor said the Pinyon attacked with arts of earth, water, fire, and wind. The four elements. That's not all. From what I hear, this Pinyon sports red eyes and a golden coat. They call it Goldapin. All right. So where is this Goldapin? The attack happened in the Figal ice caps. But I gotta warn you guys, Goldapin is said to be an ominous creature that signals the end of the world. Listen, I'm telling you this for your own good. Whatever you do, you'd better steer clear. Why would you say that? Oh, now we have to check this out. So it's a penguin with red eyes, a gold coat, and control over all four elements? That must mean... They're calling her Goldapin, huh? I've seen a lot of things out there, but never anyone who has mastered all four elements. Excluding myself, of course. <laughs> Whatever she is, if she's taken down a Praetor, she might be willing to work with us. Or, you know, it could be a trap. This strengthens the case that she could be connected to the four Empyreans. Either way, we should probably go and find out. I'll send word to Jude and Isult. Hold on. That might complicate the situation. We promised we'd let him know if we heard anything. I'm just staying true to our word. Fine. But I have my own way of doing things, too. Red eyes? Golden coat? It's Goldapen, all right. And she's even got that... quirk. Be careful. If what we heard is true, she can use those four great spirits in battle. Uh, see? She's drooling. Does that mean she thinks we look... tasty? Does that mean she's a man-eating Pengyon? Wait! Don't fight! Hey! It's Jude! No matter how much Mila loves to eat, she'd never attack a person without a good reason. Huh? Wait. This Pengyon isn't Mila. Are you alright? When I got your message, I... Ran all the way here, without stopping to eat or drink. That's enough. When will you people learn to leave this Pengyon alone? Hunting for food, I could understand. But I won't allow you to take this creature's life on some flimsy notion of bad omens. If you want the Pengyons, you'll have to fight me first! Who the hell are you? I'm Mila Maxwell, and I'm the protector of Pengyons! 
You're strong. You know your way around a sword. As do you. 
I can see that Jude wasn't exaggerating when he called you the Lord of Spirits. Jude? Do you know him? I've been looking all over for him. He's right there. Oh, Jude! Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're safe. Mila, you can tell it's me? Of course I can. You're a lot smaller on the outside, but you're still you on the inside. <laughs> Thanks, Mila. That being said, I haven't exactly had an easy time in this form. Hmm. Yes, I can see how it might have given you some trouble. <laughs> Leia and Elise would probably be worried sick, and Alvin would tease you mercilessly. I think there's a way I can change back. When I fought these guys before, I was somehow able to do it. You fought them? So they really are a bunch of no-good Pengion abusers. We're not, I swear. It's all a misunderstanding. It's okay, Mila. They're the ones who told me where to find you, and they're not Pengion abusers. Oh, all right then. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go jumping to the wrong conclusions about you. Everyone, thank you so much for reaching out to me. No need to thank us. We just did the same as anybody would. I'm glad you found your friend. However, both of you are still stuck here. It's fine. The two of us will figure something out. We'll get Jude back to his normal self and find our way home to Riza Maxia. Yeah. <coughs> oh, do you want to come along too? You know this Pengyon? Yeah, for some reason I've taken quite a liking to him. Something about him just feels familiar. <laughs> I suppose so. They're gone. Is it really okay to let them leave? What do you say, Aizen? Do you think Mila is connected to the Empyreans? No. Her arts felt fundamentally different from the ones we Malakim use. Agreed. I think I might actually believe they came from another world. In that case, we can let them be. Since she took down that exorcist, I don't think we need to worry about her joining forces with the Abbey. Yeah, but couldn't she still join our side? I wonder. I feel like she might be a bit out of our league. I don't know. I think you two have more in common than you'd care to admit. We should leave them be. Besides, if they came with us, Eleanor might try to eat Jude. I would not! 